An Ohio man and his wife in a small plane that crashed at Spruce Creek Fly-In yesterday were both taken to the hospital, and though not life-threatening, they did have injuries. The couple was heading home after visiting Florida. West Juice Claire Metz reports the Piper Malibu crashed into a tree just moments after takeoff. Chopper 2 flew over Spruce Creek Fly-In in Port Orange shortly after the crash. The Piper Malibu collided with a tree at the end of a runway near a golf course. At the end of the runway, we just had an airplane crash. This is the flying. It's on the runway. A plane crashed. I just witnessed it. It just happened. Okay. On the runway, I'm going to where the plane is. According to the incident report, the pilot, identified as Danny Butler, told deputies he and his wife were heading back to Ohio after a Florida visit and that during takeoff, he stalled the aircraft out and only gained a minimal amount of lift before the aircraft began to fall. The plane slammed into a tree, the impact severing the plane's stabilizers and propeller. There's a woman in there. She has a hip injury. She's 43 years old. This is Volusia County Sheriff's deputies' body camera video as first responders got on scene. The pilot was out, but his wife, Leah Butler, needed help. According to the report, she suffered a spinal injury that could require surgery, and the pilot had a fracture in his lower leg. Fortunately, no one on the ground was hurt. An FAA aviation safety inspector responded to the scene. The NTSB notified this crash remains under investigation. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. West 2 did reach the pilot by phone, but he declined to comment.